And there we are. I am quite pleased with that. A little bit of pen bleeding, but the might be able to get it off with a craft knife or something. But hey, who's bothered? I am really happy with that. Uh, and it's worth worth the effort. Now I've got to get the guitar all back together again. Not I left the original Yamaha label on just so you can identify the make of the guitar. In the unlikely event I'm gonna get rid of it. Hard part now is putting the trem on, wiring it back up, and I hate soldering. I really do hate soldering. Uh, not quite ready yet. I'm, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a wet wet and dry polish, then lacquer it. So lacquering it is the next job. Oh, missed a bit there. Missed a bit there. Ooh, I've got to say how therapeutic that was. I really, 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 it does quite a, a really nice chilled out few, 10 minutes or so. so there it is. So I am happy, I am happy. So whatever happens, if the guitar doesn't work or it sounds awful, at least I've got a nice backdrop. So I'm actually gonna put that uh, behind me, some works teams calls, show it off a little bit at this stage of the project. As I said, it's just a little bit of indentation there, but can you notice it from afar? Not really, so happy, happy, happy. Uh, one thing about this is I've never done anything I've never sprayed or painted or done anything to guitars before just a bit more look I could do that all day just peel bits of masking tape off uh, I went into this as I think you've seen in the other videos with a bit of trepidation it wasn't too bad just patience 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 and you know letting paint dry and Right. Thanks for watching everybody. Let's get it shiny.